University in Ireland. One-to-one support for skills you can use straight away. News Talk 106 to 108. I think what we're seeing now is that they're coming back. My name's Dohi De Roche. I'm the local rep here for Dublin South Central out here in Ballyferm and Ward. Ward. Dohi, you're hoping to get elected in the next general election in this area, aren't you? I would like to, obviously, but that's gone very, very far down the road. At the moment, all we're doing is we're just focusing within the community of helping people dealing with issues. And wherever that leads is wherever it leads. You know, we can't actually turn around and say, oh, well, we're looking to get elected. Like, there's no other parties out at the moment. What we're simply doing is we're knocking on doors, we're meeting people and saying, well, how can we help you? John Martin, Secretary of the Ballyferm. Uh, dream, uh, uh, common. We're out here at the moment on this cold, dark night. We're canvassing, we're door knocking. Why'd you do it? I mean, why'd you stay in Fianna Fáil? Did you ever think of leaving Fianna Fáil after the last election? No, no, I, I, I don't think many people would have thought of leaving Fianna Fáil. Fianna Fáil is not a political party, it's a movement. Hello, am I... Essentially what you get when you meet people, sometimes you do get, oh, well, you're Fianna Fáil. And then when you stand back and you say, well, look, I can't answer for what's gone before. I'm simply standing here saying I'm going to help you. And people are willing to engage that people say, oh, brand is toxic and they need a name change. From, in my eyes, that's, that's sort of rubbish. Do you think it's toxic? No, because what I'm about to say is I think a brand is represented by the people who represent it. So if, through Michal Martin, he can bring forward a series of local area reps who can then, or as he's continually said, a new generation into politics... If they're of good standing, of good calibre, and they're working hard in the communities, well, then that's all that matters. That's what's going to represent that brand. Well, there has to be better than what's in at the moment. So you would welcome Fianna Fáil back with open arms? When you see the likes of Dahi coming up, young representatives, I think new brushes sweep clean, bring them into the doll and get rid of all the olds and start off the new, start fresh. So get rid of Andy Kenny, get rid of Andy Get rid of all the olds politicians, bring in new stock that's what we need, people you can trust Did you vote Fianna Fáil in the past? I always voted Fianna Fáil Even in the last general election? Even in the last general election I always voted Fianna Fáil You gave them the benefit of the doubt? Well I knew they got us into the mess that we were in but I don't think anybody else would have not got us into the same mess you don't think that two years is an awful long time. I'd say it is. I'd say it's a really, really long time when the crisis has got much worse, when people are still struggling, when you're going through the hardship that people are in. And how old are you? How, I'm 25. So you're a young man. I mean, I know a lot of the successful Fianna Fáilers started young. Bertie was in his 20s. There is that big apathy with politics. People are fed up with politics the way it is in Ireland at the moment. The strongest message I get back on the doors is it's great to see somebody young getting involved it's great to see somebody young kind of going, right, it's about time you can do something and get rid of... I think people are fed up with a generation of politics are in there, the cynicism that goes on, the lies, the broken promises. People really are fed up with that. Like 27% of the polls, if they are what they say they are, that's still only one, one in three people are looking to speak to people, you know, that would be Fianna Fáil. So you need to be realistic when you're talking to people. Sorry to interrupt the soap opera. What, what do you think of Fianna Fáil? Opera. What are you watching? Coronation Street, is it? Yes. We've got a really barky dog there. Do you ever get bitten? No, I've never been bitten by a dog. I, you generally, you just go up and you give them a bit of a rub and they'll be all right. We'd be in what be really a Sinn Féin heartland or a real left constituency. Like Dublin South Central is made up of... You've got one Sinn Féin, you've got a People Before Profit and you've got two Labour TDs. My name's Emma Roach. I'm one of the members of Fianna Fáil in Ballyfermy. Emma, how old are you? I'm 22. So you're 22 years of age, so you were just 18 years of age when the crash happened. Do you remember the crash? I remember it well. Like, when I was 18, I was just going to college. It's not the people who caused all them things to happen that are there now. It's people that are, they have a fresh look on it, they're young. We well, you haven't forgiven them. Um, that's for someone that did vote Fianna Fáil. So you, you know used what I mean? to be a, a grassroots level Fianna Fáil voter in every election since you were uh, since eligible was to vote. Boy, yeah, because my father... My father was a strong Fianna Fáil man, you know what I mean? And just the way we were blurred up. All this stomping around, you must go through quite a few pairs of shoes. Well, they say you need a good pair of shoes to go canvassing, that you'd wear the letter off them. There you go, Henry McKean reporting there. We'll be back with the news.